South Africa was was basically um, Kuburg and Nexa was making radioisotopes, medical radioisotopes, and that was it in terms of the nuclear industry. So what PBMR did was to develop a nuclear program and the impact on suppliers. We now can say that we'll probably have a higher local content than we would have had five years ago because we've developed some suppliers. Uh, they, they get ASME accreditation for codes and standards. Uh, it's the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. It's international standard for the manufacturing of equipment. So, so we've, we've, built up, uh, we've built up a significant supply chain in South Africa. Um, we, have, um, we have test facilities at Pill and Arbor, which is full-scale uh, facilities. And it's something that I think you should see because it's sometimes you come into the building and you think that, you know, this is people sitting in offices. Uh, we've got significant facilities at Pill and Arbor and the University of uh, Northwest. Uh, we have this computer system at Pretoria University and um, some uh, University of Stellenbosch, UCT, Nelson Mandela, Metropolitan, uh, WITS. Um, those, those are the main universities that we're working with. But, but anyway, so PBMR is not a once-off how trained project. It's a long-term program. Now, if you, if you ask Westinghouse in the U.S., how long did the AP1000 that they offered to Eskom, how long did that take them to develop? And the answer is 20 years. So it's, it's um, it just nuclear just takes a long time to develop um, because it's not, it's not just like any other component you manufacture or you design, you manufacture. The licensing process, the EIAs, and the whole nuclear around this component makes it a, a very, very complicated um, you know, process to manufacture um, and ultimately on site, you know, the construction. So, so but to get back what PBMR is, um, we're a nuclear program. It's, it's, a, it's a company that's, that sits in the middle of this nuclear program and, and it's already visible, the, the spin-offs for, for universities, for suppliers, the universities um, offering nuclear courses again, nuclear engineering courses, and um, we've created the Nuclear Industry Association of South Africa. The membership now, I think over 100 companies are members of NIASA, and, um, and that just shows you that this thing is, it's, you know, it's a wide impact. And you can imagine if we start to manufacture components in this country for reactors, uh, we manufacture fuel, then you will politically be very strong worldwide because you're self-sufficient from a nuclear energy point of view. You don't have to go to the U.S. or France to get uh, to buy reactors. You can you can make the components here. You've got the uranium. If we get the enrichment facilities back in this country, you really have security of energy supply. So I think that's ultimately what what we're looking at. Every country, every major nuclear country, has got a nuclear program. 